list makes the determination to accept the peak, right-click and select Confirm or use the hotkey Ctrl-M. Comments may also be entered at this point. All actions and comments are recorded in the peak table and history, as with this example where allele 13 was confirmed. Many analysts prefer to review data and make decisions regarding pull-up, peaks, or peak edits in the all-color browser view, which is activated by the main toolbar icon and has a graph with multiple trace colors. The main analysis screen traces and report table are automatically updated when edits are made in the all-color browser. The crosshairs assist in checking size and height of peaks. Access the Panel Editor using the Tools drop-down menu and select Panel Editor. Select the panel from the list of panel templates in the upper left. Variant or virtual allele bins are indicated with open rectangles at the base of the electropherogram, and major allele peak bins have a solid fill color rectangle. The program treats any bins with a zero in the control column as variant or virtual alleles when the auto panel adjust is selected in the third screen of the run wizard. Major alleles are denoted by a 1 in the control column. The first time that a different genetic analyzer is processed, the lab manager should confirm the panels are aligned and save with signal information to calibrate the panel to the instrument. Details of panel calibration are found in the user manual. Major human identification panels are preloaded in GeneMarker HID. Custom panels may be easily made using the file Create New Panel to create automatically using all samples or manually using the mouse and panel tab table. Or import ABI panels and bin files using File Import ABI Panels. Navigate to the saved panel and bin files and then select OK to automatically import the panel information from the genetic analyzer. Heterozygous imbalance and stutter rates may vary from marker to marker. GeneMarker HID allows the user to easily customize the parameters for each locus by activating the edit marker with a right click on the marker label above the electropherogram. The minimum homozygous and heterozygous intensity is the minimum RFU, or peak height, that will be called within this marker. Depending on your lab SOP, set to this value at the analytical range for the CE instrument, which would be the same value for both homozygous and heterozygous calls, or set different levels for minimum peak height for homozygous and heterozygous peaks. The inconclusive range is used for quality flagging of peaks that are above the analytical range of the instrument, but may be subject to allele dropout of the stochastic range. Peaks that are above the minimum intensity and below the inconclusive level will be yellow flagged during the analysis and the quality reason will be IHO or IHE, as seen here in this list of peak quality reasons. Any heterozygous peaks that are below the maximum heterozygous imbalance set here for the marker will be flagged yellow with imbalance as the quality reason. Peaks below the minimum heterozygous imbalance are not called. In other words, the minimum heterozygous imbalance setting acts as a filter rather than a quality flagging parameter. The stutter filter should be used to set values determined by your lab for stutter for each marker. Typically, smaller size fragments of loci such as D8S1179 will have a higher stutter rate than fragments in loci with larger size fragments. Peaks in the stutter position that are at or below the stutter setting will not be called. Customize the main analysis window using view preferences. The startup settings are applied to the main analysis screen after restarting the program. For example, if you do not use the linked synthetic gel image, deselect it in the startup settings tab and it will not be displayed whenever the program is reopened. 
The Display Settings tab includes Allele Label, Chart Settings, Peak Label, and Gel Image Options. The Forensic tab includes options to show ladder and control samples in the report table, to mark deleted or edited peaks with a symbol above the peak in the trace, E for edited or X if this peak was deleted, to calculate peak ratios by height or area, and the naming conventions for recognition of ladder and control samples as discussed earlier in this webinar. The Report Settings tab has four options. Be sure to deselect Automatically Resort Report if you do not want the edited files to drop to the bottom of the report table. The last tab, Others, includes options to enable sample grouping and to automatically save Run Wizard parameters to an INI file. This automated feature enhances the audit trail by automatically saving the run parameters using the name as the saved project name underscore run wizard settings dot INI. There is no need to name this file. The program automatically saves the INI file at the time that the analyst names and saves the project. Use the printer icon to activate the print report options. Select from a large number of options to customize the print report. For example, selecting these options provides the report seen here with the electropharograms for each die channel, the sample number, ladder file selected by the auto select best ladder from page 3 of the run wizard, and the sample name and die are listed for each trace. In a second example, the peak table, auto scale markers, and landscape view have been selected. We see here that allele 7 for THO1 was just below the heterozygous imbalance at 58%. This imbalance was set in the panel editor at 60%. The sample was flagged yellow with the quality reason imbalance. The analysis action, confirmed, and comments were recorded in the main analysis screen when the analyst made the decision to confirm the peak, automatically removing the yellow flagging and entering the actions under the comments heading. Activate the CODIS export option from the icon in the Tools drop-down of the main analysis screen. This easy-to-use interface has fields to record the user ID, source and destination of origin, and saves files as CODIS compatible format. The PCR kit is selected automatically from the panel name. Select the specimen category and source identification verification from the drop-down menus. Then click on the save icon at the bottom of the right screen. Reporting options also include allele report tables and peak tables. Activate the allele report setting using the report icon in the upper right side of the main analysis window. Select from report style and other options to customize the report for your lab's preference. These report settings result in an allele report listing the file name, loci, and allele calls, as seen here. Use the Save icon to save the table as an XLS or text file. Another commonly used format is the peak table, where the analyst may select from a list of column headings to include in the report table, as seen in this table example, which contains the selected columns. Thank you for participating in this introductory GeneMarker HID webinar. GeneMarker HID provides accurate, rapid analysis of forensic STR data with quality flagging, size calibration check, and automated control concordances. The program is compatible with all major capillary electrophoresis file types and human identity PCR kits. The user management provides an audit trail of all actions and a variety of options for access rights. The linked navigation and intuitive interface decrease user fatigue and increase time savings. Final results may be reported in a variety of formats, including allele and peak tables and CODIS format. For more information or to download a free 30-day trial, go to www.softgenetics.com 
or send us an email at info at softgenetics.com.